In this question, we are told that A, B and C are the sides of a triangle such that A square plus B square plus C square is equal to B, C plus A, C plus A, B. Then the triangle is. So this is a theorem that you should know. A square plus B square by 2 is greater than or equal to A, B. Similarly, B square plus C square by 2 is greater than or equal to B, C. Similarly, A square plus C square by 2 is greater than or equal to A, C. This is the arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean and if you add all of this up, the left hand side becomes equal to A square plus B square plus C square will be greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus AC and the equality will occur if and only if A is equal to B is equal to C. Another way of looking at it is that for any two values A and B, A square minus B square is greater than or equal to 0. B minus C whole square is greater than or equal to 0 and C minus A whole square is greater than or equal to 0. If you add all of them up, A minus B whole square plus B minus C whole square plus A minus C whole square is greater than or equal to 0. And when will this equality actually hold? It will hold if all three of them are actually equal to 0. That is A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to 0. And the equation that is given to us essentially is the expansion of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus a minus c whole square because if you expand it you are going to get two times a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus a c this will equal zero if and only if a is equal to b is equal to c not equal to zero but if all three of them are equal only then will the equality hold so this would imply that the triangle is an equilateral triangle because the lengths of the three sides are the same if you want a structured daily practice plan, just go to Google and search Crack You Cat Daily Targets.